After the presentation of dummy check to the churches in Aids PDL 7 area and the launching of various projects in February 2023, numerous dialogue between all stakeholders to release the funds to the churches. And last Wednesday, Croton Light Tepo Equity Limited made the payments to the churches. KLEL Chairman Andy Amaga said the Board of KLEL have conceded and consistent with Clause 6.40V of the Licensed Based Sharing Agreement or LBSA where it had been agreed that 10% tithes shall be given to the churches within AIDS 4 PDL 7 area. We agreed that 10% uh, tithe uh, would be given back to churches. To the to uh, God, the credit himself, because we uh, we know that we are credited by the men above, and we were that area was uh, ne neglected neglected by uh, com by government by not give providing basic services. The Croton Light Tepo Equity Limited had, through its previous leadership arrangement, also paid a sum of 1.5 million kina in the form of infrastructures, development grants and business development grant. President of the AIDS Christian Church's Sustainable Development Fund Inc., Olape Marago, thanked the board and management of Croton Light Tepol Equity Limited for always committed in fulfilling the agreement signed and committed in working with them to serve the people back at home. So we are guided by uh, the MOA that we have in place. So okay. Definitely we will be looking at uh, youth and women. Uh, youth and women are key components of any church ministry in the country. So, uh, they will be taken care of uh, in those allocations that we have. Meantime, General Manager for KLEL Lufai Vari clarified that KLEL will also support the other development projects in the area apart from the churches. Freddie Mo, TV One News.